So you're shopping around and there's just a couple of you. Maybe you've got a small vehicle or an SUV or you just don't want one of these big giant trailers. Well, ah, a choir of angels has descended and brought us the 204 Rear Dinette Coachman Freedom Express Ultralight at just over 4,000 pounds here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. New floor plan from Coachman and this, I, I loved it the moment I saw it because <clears throat> there's a lot of people out there who just maybe don't want something big for their first camper or last camper or are downsizing, whatever the case may be, but they want something nice and something towable. That's exactly where this comes in. It's uh, it, it's funny because it's in a way it's a blast from the past. There's this there's this thing going on where where concepts that are 10 to 15 years old that were phased out of the RV industry, they're finding a home in the business again, and this is a good example of that. This is just a no slide little couples camper with a nice bed, a nice shower, nice amenities, just simple. Um, like all Freedom Expresses, you've got the bigger, wider baggage compartment. Um, Freedom Express is one of the reasons a lot of the lightweight business looks like it does today. They were the first brand to say, listen, let's not make tiny ultralights. Let's make a full-size trailer, but make it lighter weight because we're going to use better materials like Asdell in the walls, aluminum framing, laminated floors. We're going to make it full-size, though. And it's really been one of the, the driving forces behind the entire RV business in the lightweight world. Um, this is one of the trailers that shaped how lightweights are, are built now. I mean, literally shaped. <laughs> so, <clears throat> handy little things like this. Uh, the little uh, outdoor picnic table. I, I love that they give you a table with this thing because you're always going to find a need for one. And by the way, it goes perfectly right next to the tires where you have your outside TV hookups. Now, if you leave it outside in the rain, who cares? It's a resin table, it's not wood. It's not gonna sponge and swell. And I love the big lights in their baggage compartment. We can see in here, plain as day. Um, even though it's not plain as day outside quite yet. <laughs> uh, also, the stuff you're gonna use every day, like your baggage doors here, they give you the nicer little magnetic latches. It's not a big thing, but it's the combination of all those little things that uh, determine your enjoyment and satisfaction over time with the brand. Um, the uh, we're, You can't really see it extremely easily right now, but uh, this does have little um, LED accent lights on the nose just to kind of spark the, 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 the flame a little bit and get you excited about this thing here. Um, it's also got a, a nice LED light strip under the awning, so you do have a nice well-lit patio at night. <clears throat> I had someone say, yeah, I like these, but they don't have a nose cap. No, they do. They just didn't have to throw it in your face. They have an integrated three-quarter nose cap, and the reason a lot of people miss it is in even the early 2017 season, they didn't have that. They just had a normal white fiberglass nose. And they said, you know what? We could put a beautiful three-quarter cap on here and still retain stone deflection from our diamond plate, and uh, we wouldn't have to change the coach. And they, it did it so seamlessly that it looks like it's always been there. And that's what I like about this. They can put modern concepts onto a classic thing and make it so seamless and integrated, you just always assume it was there. Um, we like to put power tongue jacks on these. That's not standard. This has the russet interior because it looks like a baked potato. And, uh, you know, if you want to add butter and cheese, that's fine. But I don't recommend doing that to your cushions. Anyway. Um, my point is, the one that we're looking at here in this video might be different from the one we have in stock. We usually put power tongue jacks on these, but if this is a popular model and we sell a lot of them, we'll call a coach and be like, send us whatever you got, however it's built, I don't care, we need inventory. Um, uh, so always check our website. That's why I leave you a link down here. It says click for price and availability or check for price and availability or whatever I type that day, and there you go. Someone asked me once, why do they put the spare tire on the tongue? And the answer is twofold. First, load equalization. Weight in front of the axles will wiggle less than weight behind the axle. That's just a that's a thing that um, any sort of structural engineer knows. Secondly, it leaves the rear bumper wide open for things like um, bike racks. Now, even this little bitty guy, this little 20 foot, 4,000 pound guy, still has an enclosed heated underbelly, forced air heated underbelly. So, uh, a couple things with that. Smooth underbelly will help with aerodynamics. 
You don't see airplanes with exposed belly skeletons, do you? Of course not. That would be nonsense. Uh, this will help slipstream down the road. It prevents uh, uh, critters to a much larger degree. And of course, with the enclosed heated belly, if you get an overnight cold snap freeze, you're going to be protected from that. Is this a Four Seasons camper? Because that Four Seasons is a Four Seasons. Everyone wants to know, is it Four Seasons? Um, the answer is no. It's an ultralight. Ultralights are not four seasons. I've done videos on that. If you'd like further explanation, please search my channel. Um, black tank flush, outside shower, even on this little trailer here. They did not put the wide stance stability axles on this little camper because it just frankly didn't need it. They put it where they need to. Uh, they don't spend money frivolously. This is all value. I do like that, just like a normal rear living, we still got those big windows and they all open for ventilation. Those are big sliding airflow windows. Back here we have like a, a full dinette and what that allows for is bonus storage outside. You see how they just open that up from inside or outside use. Um, remember that rear bumper, wide open for bike racks and things. I mentioned Asdell in the walls. That is the layer that's directly below the fiberglass, it's the substrate. and. What that is doing for us is it's roughly 50% lighter than plywood. It is, uh, it has higher R values. So this one and a half inch ultralight wall has the same R value as a two inch non-ultralight wall. You can see that layer of Asdell right there actually. Um, it also can't rot, mold, mildew. And uh, it's an extremely great uh, for bonding and laminating. So this thing is basically, to try to get this thing to delaminate, you pretty much have to wreck the entire trailer. So by the time this skin uh, does manage to delaminate, you've already totaled the trailer for other reasons, essentially. Um, now, uh, they kept, even though this is smaller, and they probably could have got away with cutting a few corners, they didn't. For instance, they still are using the nicer, bigger paddle handles. They still have one switch, whole cabin lighting, and holy cow, the cabin lights up. They've done a good job. This is that russet decor I was telling you about. It's got what I call the baked potato skin. It's got a great look to it, and it's a nice, comfortable, neutral tone because everything in the RV business is brown or browner, and if they're feeling crazy, you'll get a nice, neutral gray penitentiary gray but here we've just got that nice warm brown wrap it up in tin foil like i said bacon butter and cheese you got a heart attack that's going that you're gonna love basically anyway um so this is our you know our primary seating space this is a camper for people that go for people that do not for people that want to sit inside the camper all day if you want to have a couple friends over and play some cards knock it out you've got the grandkids over for a night fold the table down sleep them not a problem but uh, if it's just the two of you, most of the time this is going to be great. And look at the classic giant closet right by the entry door. Again, I I've said a hundred different times, and I, I do believe it. You know, every RV brand does something better than something else. Coachman, they do storage, and they do storage well. Now, here's another, uh, from a video standpoint, it's hard for you folks at home to see this, which is why I like to stress it. This is a tall ultralight. And those are two things that don't normally go together. Instead of a normal um, six foot six inch height inside, this is six nine. Doesn't sound like much of a difference, three inches, but it means taller cabinets and a taller shower that I can stand in as a tall person as opposed to having to duck. That was a big thing for me when I chose what camper I wanted. We've got pocket screwed cabinetry, not stapled. Again, this is built right. It's built appropriate for the, the, the price point, the use, the ownership. Um, of course, you know, full storage under there. The table, they still use their freestanding table in here. So if you want to take, well, you don't need to take this outside because it includes a picnic table. Um, but obviously it can fold down. And what I like about it as a bigger person, I can kind of cheat the table over toward my wife and kid and get a little bit extra belly room in there. Um, there are... Uh, dinette over here you see you have a little pocket storage there there are some fixtures under this the smaller the camper gets the harder it becomes to hide things like water heaters um, but they've done a pretty good job of that in here um, the uh, TV swings right out for easy viewing so sitting here at the dinette obviously I've got a nice shot at the screen and like most things now, we've got all of our DVDs and Bluetooth all wrapped up in one unit here. But I like how they left you this elevated shelf to like charge your phones with open space down here. Tell me that's not begging for a toaster right there. That is exactly the place for a toaster. All of your countertops are uh, a pressed membrane. They're sealed edge and waterproof, basically. And you'll notice that's true in your bathroom, in your kitchen, in your uh, on your dining table here. So if you are splashing water around or you spill something, 
it's not going to wreck your countertops. You might have to wipe down the cabinet, but that's true no matter what. Um, they've also, like I said, storage is something Coachman's always done well. Little campers often have no drawers, let alone uh, full extension drawers, let alone plywood constructed drawers. Um, you know, in this category, you'll find a lot of campers that have press board drawer boxing with a, a sticker wrap. And don't get me wrong, there's actually nothing wrong with that. This is simply going to uh, generally hold up better. You know, the there again, there's nothing wrong with the press board core drawer. It will basically do its job just fine. But which would you rather have? I've never heard someone say, I'd rather have the particle board drawer over a plywood drawer. Never once. <laughs> I've been doing this for a lot of years. I've never once had somebody say that. So this is my favorite thing in almost any Freedom Express is the U tensile drawer, the drawer that wraps around the sink because it, it, you, you can see that it slots around the sink, but it gives you the perfect space for all of your silverware and whatnot. And if you're gonna go outside and have a picnic, you can actually just bring all of it with you in one shot, set it on the table for serving, and then bring it back. Of course, I gotta be smart enough to put it back the proper way, but you know, I'm not left-handed. Everyone has the hand that can. Well, in my case, that's the one that's holding the camera. This hand, this is the one that tries and just fails. So, this is not a normal plastic or composite sink. This is a stone cast sink. You can hear the difference. Uh, basically, you can pour boiling water on it and it's not gonna melt because it's not plastic or composite, as people like to call it. If some, you know, it's a composite sink. That's a snake oil salesman, kids. That's someone who's trying to, to dress up the truth. You don't need to dress up the truth if it's right. Um, cutting board uh, stove cover here, and it does slot in place. You can see that it won't, like, just fall off. What I love about this thing is, one, it looks like a butcher's block and it's very cool. Two, you could, uh, pick this thing up, you could set it right over here, and ta-da, it's serving time, and frankly, with that nice light hardwood look to it, someone's gonna be like, ooh, fancy, you know. Um, we looked at that, we got a big kitchen breeze window here, let's peek at the bathroom. So, uh, you know, it's small, it's simple, but it gets the job done. We still have shower wall panel surround, we have both a skylight and a power vent fan. We have that taller shower I was telling you about. So again, big guys like me, I can stand in the shower. I don't have to put my head in the bubble. I could if I wanted to, but yeah, I don't need to. And again, I like that like if, you know, I'm one of these guys, I'm a zombie when I'm tired, I'll walk in and like, you know, I'll be slapping the bathroom wall looking for the switch. I got a bigger chance to hit these bigger paddles, but maybe that's my life and not yours. We all have different journeys, you know? People go nuts for some reason over this coachman clock. We have these things come up missing on the lot. We actually had to start stocking a bunch of these just to replace ones that are stolen because for some reason people are like, oh, coachman clock. Great, knock yourself out, have a good time. Just please don't steal it. If you want one that bad, chances are I, I might be able to get you one, but uh, you know, they're not expensive, guys. Um, and here's a big difference in, in this versus most lightweights. This is a true queen size bed, 60 inches wide, by 80 inches long, not a 74 inch camper queen. So again, a big tall person like me can fit in the shower, can fit on the bed. This is a real American sized RV. That's something I like about this. It reminds me of Hulk Hogan's old theme there, real American, anyway. Um, so, big bedside stands with power outlets for your breathing machines and large closets on both sides. You see that they actually mirror the wardrobe doors on this to help reflect the light from the windows to open it up in here. You are set for a TV against the wall. We do have an extra breeze through little vent up here. Now, uh, something that I like are these. The Coachman was actually the first brand I saw use these, though I've seen them used a couple times. Tap once for a nice blue reading light. Uh, tap and hold and boom! We got a nice bright white light. That's a lot of it sounds in one go there. Um, so basically you can read without disturbing your partner, or you can actually turn the lights on so you can actually see. Whatever works best for you. Um, a lot of good stuff going on here, you know. They've got uh, a, a true full walk-on roof, five inch trusses, uh, three eighths roof decking. Um, they've got that laminated floor. They're aluminum framed um, everywhere but the roof. They uh, specifically don't aluminum frame the roof because they found that they can actually achieve greater vertical load limits on the roof uh, with wood construction. Basically in the Midwest what that means is when you get a huge heavy snowpack up there, this roof does not cave itself in. I'm not going to tell you an aluminum roof will, but it may um, warp in certain spots which can cause water to pool up and this generally doesn't. 
best example of that ever is look at old brands like Glendale in their heyday, you know? Um, it, it was a Canadian built trailer. They, in, they built very, very high class fifth wheels, but they had a wood constructed roof, wood trusses, wood decking. And, you're, and everyone's like, yeah, but aluminum's gotta be better. Well, not necessarily, you know? The, the wood truss roofing can actually hold more weight. That's one of the reasons they still do it here. So they've made it light where they could, and they made it strong where they should. And that is just the base message of everything with Freedom Express. It's right, you know, it's simple where it needs to be, it's fancy where it could be, and it just gets the job done. I gotta give credit to that phrase right there to a uh, YouTube viewer, a guy at his computer. Thank you very much. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone. If you'd like to learn more, give us a phone call. Uh, chances are, if you're watching this video, our phone number's not too far away, but at any time, just remember that we have hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, accessories, RV delivery, truck and trailer package deals, and a partridge in a pear tree. So take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.